Hello, I'm Tremor Boreo. We're playing Stationeers today. We're gonna pressurize the base and do the AC. Probably not in that order. This is our AC unit. It's really simple. It's the same as the filtration system without the filters. We have air coming in here through this pipe. That's a heat vent. We're gonna do that outside. Obviously, because it... Well, it goes outside, doesn't it? I built a filtration system. Same thing we always do, with one caveat. Caveat? Caveat. We're pumping the unfiltered air into the base through these lines, which are connected at the end. I'll show you that. The filtered air is going to be blown right outside. I think this is going to work. We'll lose less base pressure this way. And we're only getting rid of pollutant because we don't need to filter out carbon dioxide or nitrogen, really. Unless we do, in which case we'll just fire a different filter in there. Both those machines hook up to these vents, which I've put one-way check valves in, and we're gonna hope that works. I also put a pressure meter so we don't just blow up the roof. I mean, we could still blow up the roof. Nothing says we can't blow up the roof. We need to put pressure into that pipe. Let's go outside. All the heat from the air conditioner is gonna get blown out into this little setup right here. It's purple because I thought we were gonna use pollutant. But upon further inspection, I think we're going to use carbon dioxide, which we're going to go make right now. Those are rads right there. I don't know if I said that, but we're going to talk about them in a second. So the exhaust vent from our furnace now goes up here where it T-pipes off into this direction over here towards this tank with radiators. Radiators? Radiators. We put a valve here when it's closed. Obviously, the exhaust goes that way. When it's open, the exhaust just leaves like normal. So I just have to make sure I remember to open it when we're just using the furnace for making stuff. My plan is that we're going to trap all the exhaust in here. These rads will cool it off enough where I can pump it into this tank and get actual usable pressure. Because if we pump it in hot, that tank will be at 6,000 PSI. Once we run it through this machine and it's cool, we're going to end up with like 500 kilopascals. Not PSI. I know I said PSI. This is my filtration system I set up for getting carbon dioxide right now. It's temporary. I mean, I'm going to use all these pieces to make nitrogen for my jetpack. This is my back pressure regulator. So if this pipe ends up with 6,000 PSI in it, it'll vent out here instead of blowing up this wall. We're losing the light. Let's do this tank thing. Okay, so we put fuel in. That's way more fuel than I needed, I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's already got 800 kilopascals of pressure in it from the fuel. So we're going to ignite it and back up. I don't know how flammable it is. I mean, I know it's very flammable. I don't know how much pressure it builds when it flammables. I mean, as long as we don't go past this red part right here, we're okay. Once it stops building pressure, we're going to open this valve and it's going to let it go to those rads. And then it should be night by then. And they'll be the most efficient they possibly can be. And then we'll stick it in that machine over there. You know what else we can do? While I'm sitting here just staring at a gauge change? We can go get our thing out of here. Our super old oxygen tank that we arrived on Mars with that has like 2,000 PSI left in it. Not PSI, kilopascals. I'm going to keep saying it. So let's just all admit that I don't know what I'm talking about. We'll move on with our day and everyone will be happier. Or if you want, you can correct me in the comments. That's cool. Every time I say PSI instead of... Where did the little building go? I'm just gonna take this with me. I'm gonna put it inside. The chamber's cooling, so we'll open the valve. Did I close that valve? Yes! It's radiated 7 kilojoules worth of energy. I don't know how to transfer that to heat, so we'll just be impressed. Like, that's... Like, that's really cool. Rate, radiated, convected. What is, what is the difference... What do you think convected means? I mean, I know what convected means, but if it's all... Whatever. Cool. Oh, yeah. Temperature inside the pipe is dropping. This is working. This was a good idea. Now, hopefully, I don't get impatient and just start pumping it in the tank while it's still hot. I mean, it's not 3,000 degrees anymore, and that's really what I was concerned about. There's two megapascals of pressure in there. That's a good amount. We might have... 6,000 pounds worth of... Oh. Except it's just carbon dioxide, so it'll be half of that. Because it's 52% carbon dioxide. So, I don't know. 
I mean, I could do math, but by the time I convert all that, those two numbers, it will have just cooled off. And it's morning. The temperature inside the pipe is 257, and I am impatient. We all knew that was coming, right? Volume pump on. We just have to make sure that doesn't hit 6,000. We're going to take this. We're going to hook it up to here and process. Oh, this is going to take all day. And judging by that number, I'll be doing this a few times. Cool. I'm going to repeat this process until that tank is full. I'll be right back. I guess it doesn't have to be full. I feel like 3,000 megapascals should be enough. We're running out of sunlight. We're going to try and do this quickly. We're taking our tank of carbon dioxide and we're pumping it into that vent, vent tube. Yeah, that's what you call it. There we go. Yes, and we're just going to pressurize this up to 6,000 and that should be fine. This doesn't have power and that would be why. Fixed it. We're going to fill that up and then we're going to pressurize the base a little bit. Not a lot. I have plans for a lot. That was weird and creepy. The base is sealed, I think. Huh. Right now we have no pressure and minus 69. Really? Huh. Minus 69 Celsius. That's not going to work. That's not going to work for me. I'm just going to set this to 10 kilopascals. We're going to turn it on. It's going to start pumping air in. I thought that would be more dramatic. We'll just vent all the oxygen left in this tank out because we don't need that anymore. Look at there. That's kind of dramatic. That probably doesn't show up very well on the camera. On the camera? That's not bad. 11 kilopascals at 8 degrees. We're going to turn the AC on and set it to 20. We're just going to turn this off. While we're pressurizing the base, we're going to turn on this back pressure regulator. Set to 60, just so we don't blow anything up. Or kill myself. That should melt ice, right? Ice should melt in 8 degrees? Let's just throw one of these bad boys on the floor. Yep, melting. That's oxygen and pressure. I don't know how much. I guess we should put the AC on and heat it up in here. Because that'll change the pressure inside the base, right? Yeah. 25 degrees, start. I think we need more than one air intake for this. I think I need to put an air intake on that side and put the two vents right in the center. That's a lot of pipes running back and forth, and I don't really care if it's swirly like this. Let's throw some more ice on the ground, baby. That was weird. I'm going to say that again without saying the word baby. Throw some more ice on the ground, man. Once the temperature is set, the air won't be so swirly, I think. But it is getting cold in here, man. I'm going to keep dropping ice on the ground and wait till the temperature is up. The pressure over here is... Oh, no, the pressure inside that tube is 40 kilopascals. I was going to say, whoa, we filtered out all the pollution. We've got 26 degrees and 53 kilopascals. So I should open my helmet and everything will be okay. Unlock helmet. Open. How are we doing? I did it. I'm not going to die. Well, I might. We're going to grow potatoes in here on Thursday. There's still a bit of air moving around, but it's not like it was. I don't know how well it's going to render on the YouTube screen, but for a minute there, it looked like it was snowing in here. That's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. You have a good day. Not all gamers are pro.